Welcome to the second ever mail time. Cue the mail time intro. Hi, mailman. Oh! Okay, see you tomorrow. What is up, guys? My name is DJ Rick Webb, and this is the second edition of Mail Time. And uh, I got a lot of packages here, so let's get into it. And also, yeah, we're back in the basement. Pretty cool, right? Most of these packages I bought myself. A couple of these are actually from some companies. And I couldn't find my knife, so I have a screwdriver. So we're going to start with uh, this package right here. This package I've actually already opened because this package was opened in the 5,000 subscriber giveaway video. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out right there. We have two LED PARs right here from Solomar. Um, that's the company I worked with on the party light video. Link to that right there. And um, yeah, so I'll unbox them real quick just to show you guys. Plug them in, maybe. They are 10 millimeter diodes. They do have a nice bracket. Voila, we have light. Looks like it's on sound action mode. Um, green, green, red, and blue diodes on here. 10 millimeter diodes. Review coming soon. So this, uh, this also this next package um, came from Amazon. I purchased these myself. Um, and I already opened this one as well because there was items in here that I needed for other stuff. So, but I wanted to save the items for... That scared the crap out of me. A little my tote fell. So right here, I bought two Furman, um, Furman SS6B Pro plugs. So these are, um, they're not, they're not technically power conditioners, but they are the closest thing to them when it comes to um, like surge protectors. The current ones I'm using are literally like Amazon basic surge protectors. And uh, now that I've upgraded to a lot of high quality equipment, including the SRX series speakers, which I'm actually going to go pick up today. So that video will also be coming out or the video already came out. Um, Furman uh, power condition, well, surge protection, power conditioner strips. And um, they're a lot better for power protection for your equipment than an Amazon basic power strip. They're not as good as a power conditioner, but there is some power conditioning features in these. All right, what box do we do next? Let's go this box. Like I said, use a screwdriver. This one also came from Amazon, um, also with my own money. I didn't actually get any packages from you guys. No one sent me an actual package yet or a letter. Kind of let down. Oh, if you guys want to send me anything, I guess I haven't mentioned it. If you guys want to send me anything, my address right here. Feel free to send me whatever you want. You don't have to send me anything, but you can send me a letter. You can say a thank you note. If you send me something, I'll open it on camera, though. So this right here is a gator bag. And this gator bag right here, gator, gator bag. Um, this is for the mega T-bars they have, the really tall ones. It's actually really cheap to get one of these. I think it was only like 30 bucks. Um, which is pretty dang cheap for a extra large T-bar. Here's one of the T-bars. And, uh, sweet. That's all there is to it. Now I can store all my Mega T-bars inside of the bag now. So that way they don't get scratched up like my old T-bars did. Moving on to the next package here. Um, this one's from China. And this one is from a company as well. So I'm not really sure which company sent this one. Because I have a lot of products coming to be reviewed for you guys. It's kind of cool, kind of awesome. So let's figure this one out. Right here we got Blitzwolf. Oh yeah, that's the that's the manufacturer, it's Blitzwolf. So right here we have looks like really nice packaging here. This is really good packaging. So right here we have a nice zip case, and uh, here is a pair of earbuds. Um, here's a nice pair of earbuds. Okay, that's uh, part of the package. There's extra earbuds in here as well, looks like. And then in this box, no, we don't need that box now. Um, this box should be the Bluetooth speaker they were sending me as well. Yes, it is. Wow, that's a big speaker. So this is the Blitzwolf 2 times 10 watt output Bluetooth speaker. We'll plug that thing in in a second. The reason why I had this company send me out a pair of Bluetooth speaker and a pair of headphones is 
I thought it would be interesting. Comment below if you guys think this would be an interesting video. But I was going to make a video on the products that I use to listen to audio on a daily basis. I don't use my DJ headphones to listen to audio on a daily basis like you might think. Um, I actually have uh, Bluetooth headphones, I have regular headphones, I have Bluetooth speakers that I listen to music on a daily basis. So I figured it would be a cool video to discuss the products that I use on a daily basis and then also compare them to the products that this company sent me out. If you guys like the idea of that video, it's going to be coming out soon. Show some support in the comments below if you're looking forward to that video. So it looks like it, the Bluetooth speaker is a USB charging, just a standard micro USB um, to charge it. And they also have a headphone jack here. Things should be as simple as just going to my Bluetooth and connecting to it. This thing does, by specs, have a, a lot more power than my current one, so. We are connected, 2000s radio. Okay, so, uh, review this coming soon. It actually sounds really good, but I'm, I think it's almost dead. I don't, I don't think it has a lot of battery because it's not loud at all compared to my other one. Uh, while I'm at it, why not plug into your phone and see what they sound like. Beautiful girls, and why you'll never work, you'll have me suicidal. Alright, so, um, really good bass response on these, and I actually really dig the inline controls, they're like in the center, so like they're not on like the side or anything, and they actually have like volume up, volume down, play pause. Like I said, if you guys are interested in a video that I'm going to be making on, uh, the headphones and the speakers, I listen to music on a daily basis, not my DJ speakers or anything, like my Bluetooth speakers, my headphones. Uh, leave down in the comments below if you guys are excited to watch that video. This, these products will also be included in, as an, other like options and stuff, and how I think they compare it to my current ones and if they're better or not. All right, moving on to the last package here. The last package here. Um, this one is also from Amazon, and this one's also with my own money. Right here we have speaker scrims, black ones to be specific. Um, these ones are from on stage. Um, I already have the white ones currently, the ones that you guys have seen in my last home camp, or my last prom gig logs. Uh, those are white ones. Those are actually from Scrim King. Those are the extra large ones designed for the big T bars. But I figured my speaker stands also need um, a nice look to them as well. So I got black ones. I didn't really want white ones. Um, cause I kinda like my speaker stands and my speakers to like, be hidden, like, I don't want them to be a visible thing. So, I got black ones for them. Speaker real quick. Oh yeah, this was cool, I remember this. Um, so this speaker scrim, the bag, is part of the actual scrim. Which is really, really freaking nice. So you don't have to worry about trying to find the bag at the end of the night. It's literally part of the actual speaker scrim. And also... The top of it is a Velcro strap, which I was actually curious to see how that worked, but it looks like they, they have like a rubber coating on the inside of the strap to make it kind of stick to the pole better. So let's grab a speaker stand real quick. And another reason why I need that is if you guys can see, these speaker stands are destroyed. Like they look like crap. So the speaker, these uh, scrims should help that a lot. Really durable material guys, like this, this does not feel cheap at all. It feels actually really high quality. Same as my uh, current ones. So let's say I stretch it up here. Yeah, this actually, this Velcro strap holds really well actually. Like, it's not, com it's not coming down at all, which is really nice. Um, the legs, they cover the legs really well. Really high quality stuff. These are no, at no means like the most expensive scrims on the market. Um, they're actually some of the cheaper ones. I'm going to link the scrims down below as well as all the products you guys saw in this mail time episode. All the products are going to be listed down below for you guys to check out. Um, these scrims are probably the coolest things that I got in this um, whole entire mail time. They're pretty dang sweet. Um, and they're really not expensive at all. They're actually like 50% like if you take the current like Scrim King, which if you guys are not familiar with scrims or anything, Scrim King is like the originators, the pioneers, are the ones that make all the scrims, the legit ones and stuff. And I didn't really want to pay for them. Um, those were like 80 to to $100 a piece for these. And these were like, I want to say right around 30 to $40, maybe $50 max. 
They were not that expensive at all. Really big thumbs up so far, but we're gonna be trying them out at the wedding next week. So as far as upcoming videos for this channel, some of these I might have already posted on this channel, some of them I might have not, but uh, we got the unboxing and the first impressions of the SRX 815Ps coming very soon, the JBL SRX 815Ps. Uh, also have a video to film on wedding meetings, how wedding meetings. Um, also working on a video to review the new Bluetooth speaker and the headphones and compare them to the ones I'm currently using on a daily basis. Oh, and a review of the LED parts. And the wedding gig log for next week. So <laughs> there's a lot of videos that I'm gonna have filmed and hopefully I get plenty of time to edit these videos. That's that guys, if you like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up on this video. And if you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Join this big, amazing community we have on this channel on our journey to 10K. How quick can we get there? I don't know. It, it depends how quick you hit that subscribe button. Like I said, for the mail time, my address is right here. Uh, feel free to send me anything you guys would like me to open on camera. It does not have to be a product. You guys can just send me a, a letter, um, a fan letter, whatever you guys want to send me. I really don't care. I don't really need anything, but... If you guys have something you want to send me, go for it. I don't care. But other than that, guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. As always, keep them records spinning. I will see you guys next time with another amazing video. Peace out. I, I, can't, I can't reach the camera. Um. Bye.